Welcome to I Am The Ice Lords, 31 Days for 2021. Here is a list of other YouTube channels that are also participating in the 31 Days Challenge this year. Go visit their channels if you wish. If your channel is participating in the 31 Days Challenge this year and you don't see your name on the list, Leave a comment down below and I will add you to the list. If you wish to have your name removed from the list, just leave a comment down below and I will remove your name. Thank you for watching and please enjoy the show. Hello there friends and subscribers. Welcome to day 20 of the 31 Days of Horror for 2021. I am the Ice Lord. Your host for today's review. Today, I kind of bent the rules because today I chose to cover Dario Argento's 1971 film, The Cat of Nine Tales, which was a Italian, French, German co-production. I also own a very lush version of the Cat of Nine Tales, also available through Arrow Video. I figured, since I've got at least two of these in my collection, I could cover them today. Although it is kind of a stretch. This movie is considered to be a giallo, which is basically the Italian term for a slasher, long before slashers became what they're known to be today. The Cat of Nine Tales stars Carl Malden and James Franciscus. The story surrounds a man by the name of Franco, also known as Cookie, a name affectionately given to him by his young niece, Lori. He's also known as Arno, and he is a puzzle maker and a blind man. They're strolling down the street one night, when Arno stops to tie his shoe, and the two of them overhear two men in a car. One is attempting to blackmail the other man. They continue on to their apartment, but Arno is convinced that something is amiss, something isn't right. Meanwhile, just down the road, in the same town, in a genetics research laboratory, there is a break-in. This seems to make the news, However, nothing is stolen in the break-in. The doctors who work at this laboratory are fearing industrial espionage. One of the doctors from the Institute seems to know who did the break-in, and he proceeds to blackmail that person. The doctor and the person responsible for the break-in plan to meet up at the train station that day, and the doctor is pushed out in front of the train as it arrives, and is killed. And it just so happens that a newspaper photographer is at the train station when this act occurs, and he catches it on photograph. It's a pretty disturbing scene. It was done very well. Arno, who was previously a reporter, decides to contact Giordani, the reporter who is covering the break-in in the newspaper. And they decide to team up to determine who the culprit of these various acts is. I have to admit, the story is very convoluted, difficult to follow. Some of the characters are hard to keep track of. The movie is around two hours long, but it doesn't feel all that long. It's paced out pretty well, and it keeps your attention. The movie is very suspenseful and atmospheric which I would probably attribute to the theme being done by famous composer Ennio Morricone. One thing that this movie is missing that is normally present in Dario Argento films is a lush, vivid color palette. A lot of the scenes are very dark, not only in their lighting, but also the set, which you don't get a lot of in later Dario Argento movies. By the way, Dario Argento also has a cameo appearance in this film as the killer. Don't worry, that's not a spoiler. 
The latter part of the film mainly follows reporter Giordani in his pursuit of the killer, who is always one step ahead of him, it seems. Anytime someone gets a clue as to who the killer could be, the killer is right around the corner to do them in. Is this a horror movie? I would say so. It has a lot of slasher elements that you would see in later movies, like Black Christmas or Halloween. You get a lot of the killer's point of view shots. While this film is not very heavy on carnage, it is very atmospheric, as I was saying before. The movie was co-written by Dario Argento, Luigi Cozzi, and Dardano Sacchetti, and an uncredited writer. I'm honestly having a hard time keeping the storyline in mind. Even though the movie's nearly two hours, it's pretty fast moving. It keeps your attention for the entire runtime. While there aren't all of the beautiful colors you would normally see in a Dario Argento film, there are a lot of kinetic shots, good camera work, cinematography. The quality of the picture is quite nice. And the acting's pretty top-notch. While I personally feel that this is a solid movie, a suspenseful thriller, from what I understand, this is Dario Argento's least favorite out of his filmography. The special effects in this film are not all that great, but it was made in 1971, so we have to kind of give it a little bit of slack. Considering that, the scenes in which the kills happen are done pretty well. My rating on The Cat of Nine Tales from 1971, directed by Dario Argento, is 8 out of 10. I kind of enjoyed this movie, and I'll have to look into some of Dario Argento's earlier films as a result of liking this one so much. So go ahead and check this one out for yourselves. I'll be leaving links in the description to the IMDb page so you can check out the full cast and crew. Plus, I'll be leaving links to purchase it on Amazon and Amazon Prime Video. Please like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and get notifications going so that way you get word when I release a new video here at I Am The Ice Lord. And I am the Ice Lord! Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on day 21 of the 31 Days of Horror 2021. See you then!